In this video, we will be looking further at net pay. Remember, a person's net pay is their gross pay minus deductions. Previously, you have calculated a person's net pay by subtracting their tax withheld. In this video, we will be looking at other amounts which can be deducted from a worker's pay. So what might these other deductions include? Well, money can be taken out each pay for union fees, uh, medical insurance contributions, perhaps the worker has an outstanding hex debt which needs to be paid. All employers by law have to pay a sum of money, known as superannuation, for each of their employees. This sum is a percentage of their employees' pay and it goes into a fund which goes towards an employee's retirement. However, an employee can make voluntary payments into this superannuation fund. And again, these payments are a percentage of their income and are deducted each pay. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. Joanne's gross fortnightly wage is $1,520. Her deductions per fortnight are $277.15 for tax, $30.50 in superannuation, $8.50 union fees, and she pays a medical insurance contribution of $19.50 per pay. So we have to find her net income. So, Joanne's net pay for the fortnight will equal her gross pay. So, we write the rule down first, minus deductions. So, this will equal the 1520 minus we're going to add all of her deductions together so in brackets 215 sorry 217 dollars 15 plus the 30 dollars 50 plus 8 dollars 50 and plus that medical insurance of $19.50. So we're going to add all those amounts up and take them away from $1,520. So it'll be $1,520 take $275.65. So her net pay for the fortnight will equal one thousand one hundred and eighty four dollars and thirty five cents. So in the second example, uh, Jack has a salary of forty five thousand dollars. So this is his amount per year. His tax bill is eight thousand eight hundred and fifty for the year. He's paid medical insurance of eight hundred ninety nine dollars sixty. And 5% of his salary has been taken out uh, and has gone towards his hex debt. And 7% is taken out in voluntary superannuation. So we have to find Jack's net monthly income. So it's a good idea to underline what we actually have to find. So when we look at this question, we see that there are a couple of calculations which need to be done. We have to find 5% of his salary, which goes towards his hex debt, and 7%, which goes in superannuation. So we're going to do those calculations first. So hex debt. will equal 5% of his salary, 45000 So again, that's 5 out of 100 
times 45,000. So 5 divided by 100 times 45,000 gives us $2,250. So now we're going to calculate the amount that he pays in superannuation. So his superannuation is 7% of his annual income. So 7% 7, 7 of 45,000. So 7 out of 100 times 45,000. 7 divided by 100 times 45,000. So superannuation is $3,150. So now we can work out his annual net income. And that will equal his annual income minus deductions. So his annual net income will be his annual salary, 45000 minus all his deductions. So his tax, 8850 plus his in medical insurance, $899.60 plus his hex, 2250 plus his voluntary superannuation, 3150 So that will be 45000 minus the sum of all of those amounts, which come to $15,149.60. So when we do that subtraction, we get 29000 $850.40. Now remember that the question asked us to find the monthly net income. So the monthly net income will equal the annual net income, so 29000 $850.40 divided by 12, that says 12 months in a year. So this amount will be uh, $2,487.53. So there are quite a few steps involved in that question. Uh, so now you'll be able to continue on the checklist and work through those questions involving calculating net pay by subtracting all the de deductions.